In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Forge mods for Minecraft Java version 1.21.9. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up mod Renfax. So, now enter, here you'll find modernf.com, click on modernf, and then you'll be on the modernf homepage. To go and get some mods, just go to the top of the website to discover content, then go down to mods. Now, you'll find a bunch of mods for Minecraft, but this is for any version and any loader. So if you want to limit yourself to Forge 1.21.9, you'll have to go to game version, select this version here, so 1.21.9, and you have to go ahead and scroll down to loader and select Forge. And now you have all the things for Forge and 1.12.9. So that's that. So as you can see, there's quite a few mods, and every day there's new mods for this version as Forge just got updated, and 1.12.9 is also a pretty new Minecraft version. So don't expect anything to be added just yet, but in a couple days. There'll be plenty of things. So let's just say that we want this mod here, Jagams Kiwis. Well, how do you get it? Well, all you have to do is click on the mod's name, and here we just see that okay, the mod is about adding kiwi birds to the game. Why not? So let's just go ahead and go to the version tab. This is how you download the file. Here, you want to go to game versions and select 1.20.9. And if you really want, you can go to platform and select forge. And now you have the exact file you need to get this mod. Now of course this works for any other mod on Modwinth, I am just showing you with this one example. So once you've found your file, just click the green download button, and this go ahead and gives you your mod. So how do you add this to Minecraft? Well, you need forge. And how do you get forge? Well, let me show you. To begin. Simply go to a new tab, go to your search bar, and search up Forge Minecraft, like so. Now enter, here you'll find files.minecraftforge.net, click on this link here, and this will bring you to this page. Now one thing is that, here it might bring you to another version, make sure that this is selected for 1.20.9, make sure this is selected, and if it is, you can download the latest installer, or if you need a specific version of Forge, because some mods do need that, you can click show all versions, and here you have one version here for this 1.21.9 version of Forge. So in this case, in most cases at least, let's just click the installer button. If it doesn't work, download the specific version that the error code tells you to download, but I believe this will work. So just click this installer button here, and this just goes ahead and bring you to a new website, or at least a transition website with an ad. Just wait a couple seconds, and on the top right corner, you should see a skip button. Click on skip, and it goes ahead and downloads you Forge. So this is Forge right here, this is a mod, and basically, here we have a .jar file. So make sure you can run .jar files on your Windows computer, and if you can't do that, let me show you where to go to actually get this installer to work. So simply go to a new tab, go to your search bar, and search up JDK25 or Java25. Here, enter, and then you'll find oracle.com Java Downloads, click this link, and then you'll be sent to this website here. From there, just click accept all, scroll down a tiny bit, go to JDK25, click Windows if you're using Windows, and here you'll find the x64 installer. Here, click this link to download and install Java 25, and then you'll be able to go ahead and run the installer. I will have a video in the description to actually go ahead and actually download the thing, but this is pretty straightforward anyways. So, once you have everything dealt with, and you have your mod, you might have dependencies or other mods in mind, but we have our mod, we have Forge, here you can now close or minimize your web browser. So, I'll just close mine here, and from there we can continue. To continue, just go to your Files Explorer and access your Downloads folder. Here, simply go ahead and double click the Forge Installer. And then, here we have the Forge Installer. 
Make sure it is installed client and if it is, click OK. And now we are downloading Forge to our Minecraft launcher here. So you'll have to wait a couple seconds for Forge to fully download and then we'll be able to actually continue with adding our mod to Minecraft. So yeah, here we have Forge here. It is downloading. It doesn't take that long. It takes a little while, but not that long. So yeah, here it is just go, going ahead and actually adding everything to our computer now. And in a couple of seconds, it should be finished. And there you go. Once it's finished, just do OK. It closes everything. And now you can open up the Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, we will have to do one or two things depending on your setup. So basically, here we see that we have Forge. And to add a mod, we need to go to the mods folder. To do this, just go to installations here on the top. Go to forge and go to the folder icon. Here, you have the Minecraft files. If you don't have a mods folder, like in my case, you have to make a new one. The only time you're gonna have a mods folder added for you is quilt or fabric. So if you don't have this, just go ahead and right click, new folder and call it mods it is very easy now enter and you have your mods folder so if we reload here you'll see that we now have a mods folder right here and that's all you have to do now simply go ahead and double click the folder you are in your mods folder and then go to downloads select your mod and copy it then go back to the previous folder which would be your mods folder and click paste and now you have your mod in .mod of mods. Again, you might have multiple mods, a mod pack, or dependencies as well for the mod. So now, just go ahead and go back to Minecraft here. Then go to play. Make sure you have Forge selected. And click play. Here, you might want to do I understand the risks. And click play again. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically. Okay, so once you have Minecraft here, you can start by checking for your mod. So we can go on mods, for example. Here we see that we have Jagam's Kiwis, like so. So that's good. And now you just can do whatever you want depending on what your mod does. So in this case, mine adds Kiwis to the game. So we'll just go to a single player world. We'll create a new world real quick. And then we'll be able to see if the mod actually works. But in this case, I believe it does because, well, we just got a little experimental features warning. That's the first thing. And the game didn't crash. So to test out Kiwis here, we'll just do inventory. And I expect it to just be a part of the game. So here it is, Kiwi bird spawn egg. And here it is, a Kiwi. Now this is a very simple mod, but it's a good example of that. There you go. We just have a very fast Kiwi bird. So yeah, that is the idea of Forge. It adds the capability to get mods for Minecraft. And yeah, that's how we got this one. So yeah, in today's video, I showed you how to download and install Forge mods for Minecraft Java version 1.21.9. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.